Hello everybody, so this clip is an excerpt from my new course, Mixing Cinematic Music. So if you like what you see and you want to see more, uh, please check it out in the description of the video. Thanks and see ya! Now cello, uh, remember that the cello is an instrument that's very full range, it can be very low and very high as well. So depending on what it's doing, you're gonna have to deal with several uh, things. I would say if the cello is just kind of low, uh, or like in the mid range, you know, in the, in like in the middle of its uh, range, uh, watch out for the low mids around the 300 or so, because just like the violas, it can build up, but even lower than the violas. So uh, it's not necessarily the fundamental actually, but more like the room resonance frequencies, or just the cello frequencies around 2, 3, 400 that can really resonate. Usually it's like the second, third or fourth harmonic. Uh, so watch out for that, because it can get too heavy. Especially if the cello is melodic, you don't want it to be too heavy uh, because you most likely want it uh, pretty loud and it could kind of ruin your mix if it's, if it's muddy. Now if the cello is more blended and more like a support instrument, uh, usually it's going to be doubled with the double bass. So you can think of the cello as the extension of the double bass, right? Uh, if you take this. Now here it's going a bit high, but... And it's what, usually it's going to be an octave apart also uh, from the double bass. And now in that case, it's sort of the same thing, but you don't need to thin out the cello as much because you're not trying to... It's not necessarily the star, right? It's more like an accompaniment. So you don't want the airiest cello necessarily. It doesn't have to be the sharpest. You're still probably going to need to cut low mids and watch out for these low resonances because you don't necessarily want that to muddy up your string bed. And sometimes a bit of harshness here. See here this part can get too resonant. So that's really, you know, the main thing, uh, controlling these low mids um, and again being a bit more aggressive with the, the, kind of the tilt EQ I would say. If it's a solo, you can be a little bit more aggressive with more brightness, uh, less low mids. If it's more like blended, make sure that it sounds great and doesn't kind of muddy up the low mids um, so that it doesn't kind of take away some power from the double bass because you know if you have a strong double bass and then your cello is kind of blobbing that 200 hertz then the bass feels weak in comparison like the, the cello is kind of dominating the bass then and you don't really want that you want a good balance between the the bass harmonics and uh, the low mids of the cello you don't want the, the bass to be like that and the cello to be like i'm a blob uh, at 120 150 hertz you want this to kind of be balanced in a straight line internal balance Right, so make sure it's kind of controlled. So that's about it for the chili, guys.